Hi everyone, it's Andrew Whitehouse here, and this week we're talking about the early development of kids on the autism spectrum. Now we know that a small proportion of children experience what's called developmental regression. Now developmental regression is when initially development uh, proceeds according to the normal timetable, but then after a bit development either stalls or there is a loss of skills, and this can occur either gradually or actually quite quickly. Now the study we've linked to today actually provides the best estimate that I've seen for how often this occurs in the autistic population. So the study examined the medical records of 862 children and what they found is that 21% of children had a developmental regression noted on their medical records. The average age at which this regression occurred was around two years of age and then children who did experience a developmental regression were more likely to have intellectual disability as well as, well as more severe uh, restricted and repetitive behaviours. So the takeaway message here is that about one in five children on the autism spectrum have experienced a developmental regression. And developmental regression is actually really important information that clinicians should notify and refer on for further assessment.